Hi, this is Mathieu Frémo, okay, a Framox, the creator of Isomatic FX. Um, this video is a brief overview of a brand new feature that comes with the brand new um, version of my script, uh, which is actually at its um, version 1.5. Okay, and this new feature is um, brought uh, thanks to uh, Alejandro San Clemente, which uh, has created uh, these uh, really cool expressions that allow you to move your 2D isometric graphics created with the scripts along uh, isometric um, angles, isometric axis. So let me show you how it works. I have created a, um, a really simple scene. I will create a, a bunch of solids. So let's do this. Let's create a bunch of ones. I will create um, blue solids for left um, sides of the cube, uh, red solids for the right side, and green solid for the top side. So it will be uh, easier for you to uh, see what um, face uh, is. So uh, let's create uh, 200 by 200 uh, blue solid first for the left side. Okay, I have uh, now a uh, blue solid. I will duplicate it. I will create a new red solid for right uh, sides of the cube. Let's do it. Okay, I will duplicate it as well and create a new... Uh, green solid for the top view of my cube so just like this i have now six um, faces ready to be uh, turned into a 2d isometric um, perspective so let's do it i will take the two um, both the two green uh, faces and click on the top button i will um, select then the two red ones, click on the red button and select the blue ones and click on the left button. So now what I've, I have done is to uh, turn these uh, 2D elements in a faked 2D isometry. So um, let's um, arrange them to create a cube. So to do this I will create a an isometry grid like this okay and I will move each face to um, be in the correct uh, position um, in order to to have a, a nice cube so let's do it with uh, each uh, faces okay let's um, reorder each face to have a nice foreground and background arrangement so I will make it like this, for instance. Okay, let's see if it works. So this is my front uh, right side, my back right side, like this. Okay, let's bring the left front side, like this, and the left back side like this okay i will adjust it a little bit to be a little bit more precise okay um, just like this perfect i have a nice cube okay and uh, before this uh, new version before this new feature it was a little bit difficult to animate the elements uh, according to invisible uh, uh, isometric, uh, isometric lines sorry so you had before that to uh, animate for instance this um, side by doing this for instance i had to do a, a keyframe like this and to follow manually by placing it according to the grid um, to give this impression of uh, um, uh, opening and closing cubes. So it was a little bit difficult to align uh, visually your elements on the grid, but um, it's not that way um, 
it, it just doesn't work that way uh, with this new uh, feature. So let me undo this. So now I haven't any uh, animation. But once you have clicked on this button in the 2D mode, look at what happened to the position now. If you take a look closely to the position of each of your design, you have now a really cool expression that has been created and that wasn't here in the previous version. If you take a look at the version and uh, uh, this uh, original expression has been designed uh, by Alejandro uh, San Clemente, aka Alej Host. Um, sorry for the name, I can't read it in English. So uh, you have uh, uh, an information about who created first this expression, which is uh, some uh, incredibly useful and clever math uh, to align this element on the isometric axis. So you don't have to understand fully the expression behind it, but the script has created the um, expressions for you. And which is really cool now is that each 2D element has now some effects that has been that have been sorry uh, applied to them, which is which are uh, this X movement, Y movement, and Z movements here. And now, which um, wh what it does is um, that it allows you to just move a slider to move each uh, design on the corresponding axis, which is really great. All you have to do is to animate these really simple sliders to um, move the element according to uh, the isometric uh, angles, which is great. So if I want to open uh, this uh, cube, for instance, it's really easy now. So what I will do is to create some um, keyframes. So for the green one, I just want some Y was a Y movement, so I will create a keyframe here on the Y movement. Same for this one, so I have now some keyframes here. I will make the same thing for the red solid, which has to be uh, animated on the Z uh, movement. I will create so a keyframe on the Z movement. Same for the second one. And for the blue one, I will just animate on the X movement. So I will create a keyframe here and here. So if you take a look now with the U key, the U, uh, key on your keyboard, you can see that I've created some um, keyframes on the Z movement for red uh, solids, some X movement for the blue solids, and some, some Y movement on the green solids. And now all I have to do is to animate them accordingly. To uh, give the impression of um, a cube that is forming. So um, for the top one, I will make this value. For the bottom one, I will increase this value. For the red one, at the, at the front view, I will um, make it like this with a positive value. For the back one, I will make a negative value like this and for the last uh, front one on the left side I will make it a negative value and same at an opposite way with the back one just like this. So now what I've created if I just make an, a quick easy ease of this is a really simple animation where I have uh, exploded the cube and reforming it, uh, reformed it uh, really easily, much more easily uh, than uh, the previous version. So that's it. The new feature is um, uh, this ability to move each 2D isometric graphics created with the script along the um, X, Y, and Z isometric uh, axis. So um, it's really much more easier to, much more easy to um, 
to uh, animate your 2D isometric graphics created with the script now with these three sliders. So again, a big thank, um, thousands thanks to Alejandro San Clemente for his really clever uh, expression and for this uh, workaround. And um, if you just want this uh, uh, this ability to move any uh, isometric graphics created in Illustrator or Photoshop, you and if you don't need to recreate isometric uh, graphics right inside After Effects, you can find this new feature. I mean, um, the ability to move along isometric axis um, your uh, 2D graphics, your 2D isometric graphics. Um, you can find this new feature in a script that Alejandro has uh, written as well and uh, that is uh, available for free on the YouTube page uh, that he has created. Um, you will find an advanced tutorial about this as well and uh, the script is for free on the uh, on the YouTube uh, link that is written uh, right uh, here in front of your eyes. Um, so uh, don't hesitate to give him a shout. Uh, his expressions are really clever and it's a really cool workaround. Um, but if you want a more uh, compact and complete toolset dedicated to isometry right inside After Effects, I Again, strongly advise you to buy my isomatic FX um, toolset, which um, has now this uh, same ability um, each time you create a 2D isometric thanks, thanks to these three left, right and top button. So this is it. A really nice addition to the already cool isomatic FX script. Um, this is a, a free update, so uh, you don't you don't have to pay for this uh, cool improvement. Um, and I really uh, hope you'll appreciate it. So this is it. Um, have some fun with the tool, and uh, see you later. Bye bye.